What's going on everyone? My name is Glorious Mischief. Welcome to the epic conclusion of Elden Ring. Today, oh today, we're in the Ashen Capital, which means only one thing. We have to finish the game. And there's the Erd Tree. It's all burned up. It makes us sad, but hey, we gotta finish it out. Erd Tree, it stands, tall and unwavering, mindless of the scourge of the flames of ruin. <laughs> then we are yet golden ones. Alright, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, so yeah, I think in a previous episode I talked about how in Sekiro there's parts of the game where uh, everything changes when you do something, and here you go. This is the old city. You guys remember the old um, capital city that was here that was awesome and full of all those things, like we fought the Tree Sentinel here, um, and we fought um, Morgoth under the tree, all that stuff. Now this is all that's left. Uh, so yeah, it's Benane is... Ooh, look at that dragon, too. It's so cool. <sighs> but we gotta get up, and we gotta go fight some big boys. There's two main bosses left in the game. There's a couple of other ones, but we're just gonna tackle the main ones today. Um, and then we get into the sweet, sweet meat of the DLC. Ooh, which I'm excited about. Because um, I, I, I think I told you guys last time, but I haven't played any of the DLC. I haven't watched any of the DLC because I wanted to play it live, and I'm so pumped to play it. It's going to be so much fun. Ugh. Yeah, I'm really excited. Because, man, oh, sorry, there's a third main boss, this guy. But he's not really much of a main boss. <laughs> ah, I knew you'd come. You knew it, so Gideon. Before the Elden Ring, to we'll listen to him. Lord. What a sad state of affairs. Sad. I commend your spirit, but alas... None shall take the throne. Sorry, Sir Gideon. <laughs> now you see why he's not really a boss. <laughs> he's got like no health, and all he does is cast sorceries at you <laughs> that you can easily dodge out of the way. Oh, he's got some health. We'll heal too. Oh, and he's out of health. Sorry, Sir Gideon. Now, oh, look at that. He's got his little blood. It's so fun because he knows so many spells. So it's like, he's kind of fighting like all of the magic users in the game. He's got Moogs. Moog is sweet. Hello. <laughs> okay, we got him. Oh, Sir Gideon. I knew it in my bones. Cannot become a lord. Not even you. Psh. A man cannot kill a god. Oh, we'll just see about that, friend. Scepter of the All-Knowing, and you get all of his sweet armor. It's sweet. Ooh, and a ton of souls. I forgot about that. Sorry. Runes. We'll get a sweet level out of that. Um, by the way, if you noticed, I'm at uh, max uh, pluses for my Crimson Tears and max flasks. I did a little bit of just kind of walking around in between episodes just to figure out exactly where all that stuff was. Um, yeah. So now, almost max vigor, almost max dex. Um, and I've got a ton of endurance, so I feel like we're pretty great right now. Um, and I think we're, yeah, pretty slated to finish the game eh, pretty quickly. We'll see, though, because uh, i got to get up there. i got to go deal with that boy. Ugh. I think uh, if you remember, when we were in the city the first time, we had to fight the remembrance of Godfrey, kind of like his his golden form. Well, now we gotta fight the real deal. And he's gonna be a pain in the butt. Especially his second form. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. But, um, I think we'll be able to get through him quickly. Who knows? I'm pretty high level now. <laughs> I say that as if, like, there's a serious risk, which there is. Because a lot of times with these bosses, your build dictates how easy or how hard um, that specific fight is. So, given the fact that I've just got the starting weapons, we'll see how easy or hard this one is. Um, yeah, Sir Gideon, easy enough. First try. I feel like I haven't... I'm sure I got defeated by him on the first time I played through the game. I have to turn this on. I'm sorry. It's just out of habit. <laughs> I haven't used any help so far. Ugh. We'll see if I need it. But here's our boy. Ugh. This cutscene is cool, too. It's been a long while, Morgoth. 
<laughs> His big Long axe. And hard didst thou fight. Tarnished warrior. Look how small we are compared to by him. the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. <laughs> there it is, the Erd Tree, man. We gotta get in there. And we gotta deal with what's inside, it, which is gonna be a problem. But there's a change Alas, in the main boss fight. I'll show it to you later. I'm returned. His half axe is so cool. To be granted audience once more. Casual. His lion's roar is enough to like push us back. He loves his stamps. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. All right, bye. The first Elden Lord. With your big lion. Let's lock on and... Oh, he, so he does the delays too. Ooh, he's stomping. I wasn't joking, he loves to stomp. And he loves his delayed attacks. Ooh, rude. Double heal. And... Ooh. I haven't fought him in so long. Ooh, we got staggered, but we didn't get any damage done to us. Oh my gosh, how are we missing and he's missing too? Well, no, thank you. No, thanks. Stampies. Ooh, we dodge. Why can't I get a bleed frog up on you? No, thanks. Ooh, that looks like it would hurt. Ouch. I really need to um, start being a little more careful with them because his second phase is way more hard than its first. Ooh, good bleed frog. Ooh! Heals. No thanks. Heals again. Here he comes with his big slams. Ooh, I thought I dodged that. Wow! I love how similar he is to um, the owl fight in um, Sekiro. If you played that game, his, his character model is even kind of similar to it, which is kind of cool. Ooh! Ooh, the bleed. It was unnecessary. Jeez. I'm getting crushed by him. No, thank you. No, thanks. How am I not dodging? Ooh, he stamps. Ooh, he stamps. Okay, cool. Ooh, I thought I could get a blood off. No, thanks. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, I didn't even get the phase two. Rude. Ugh. We'll get him next time next time Ooh. but we got him this time I'm patient that's my <laughs> that's the best thing I've got to throw at these games I'm very patient it's a little bit difficult knowing that you have the easy button literally right behind you all the time if you just decided to use the um what's it called mimic but I don't really want to do that nope oh that was some clutch dodge you love to see that. Nice. Ooh, that's not nice. Oh, but he missed me. Ooh. Okay. Little heals. Nope. Oh, made a mistake. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, it did. No. Oh man, it's so rude that that dodge is just too slow. Okay, okay, he's going bananas. So bananas. Oh, we got the bleed. He's doing his big grumble yell. Love it. Running and do as much damage as you can. As much damage as you can. Oh, that was so good. Ooh. Lion. Oh, lion friend. The visual effects are so good, just like 
he becomes corporeal and so cool. Me good service. Siraj. Not Siraj. No. It really is just like Godric when he kills his dragon and just takes his arm. He kills his lion and he takes his lion's power. He just becomes insane and hard to dodge. If you can dodge him though, you can get some good damage in, so... I've given thee courtesy enough. <laughs> Thieves. Now he's a big scary boy. <laughs> Winter fresh gum. <laughs> Taste the frost. <laughs> Don't mind the fact that he's covered in blood, all right? Alright, this is the one that's hard to dodge. Perfect. Little blood. Oh, he can't. Nope. Nope. He's doing his buck wild move. Oh, he went buck. Wow. Nope. We need to dodge. We need to double heal. Okay. That hurts. Okay. Little bleed. Nope. Okay, cool. He's kicking. Perfect. Perfect. Heal. He's gonna do his bananas. He's going bananas. And he's going bananas again. Oh, I thought he had a third banana. Ooh. Oh, double bananas. Ooh, very hard to time. No. Okay, heals. Dodge. Ooh, missed it. Okay, cool. He's doing insane again. Oh. Come on. Oh, I thought I had him. I'm being so greedy. Double heal. Oh, I missed. I missed with the blood. But we got him. Yes, we got a Horaloo. Woo! That's awesome. He's so hard with this build. <laughs> 300,000 souls. Woo, man. It's so funny. I've, I've fought him so many times before. I haven't felt that much adrenaline fighting him in so long just because it's like... Oh, I haven't done this hard of a build in so long. This is not a great build for endgame bosses. My gersh. Ooh. Alright, let's get some levels in us, man. Ooh. Got the heart pounding on that one. I thought for sure he was going to na nail me on like some random technicality at the end. How much will strength give me? Oh, not as much as dex. Mm, let's give us one more deck. Whew. <laughs> that was so stressful. Well, no time like the present to go do another super stressful fight. I love the end of this game that it's just back to back madness. You beat Horalu, and you come in here, and it's like, oh, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. And it's going to be just insanity in here. Golden light. <laughs> there has been an update to this fight, which I will show you. As long as I can get to phase two. Phase two? Because really, phase one is kind of the hard part, in, in my opinion, but we'll see. So the rune arc. That's the symbol. Holding him, him, her in place, I should say. Ugh. I never watch the cutscenes anymore because I just go in and fight the bosses so much. The cutscenes are awesome. Ooh.
This boss is hard, by the way. <laughs> if you've never played this game, he's a hard boss. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's so cool. Ooh. So it's possible earlier in the game to figure out that Radagon is the same as America. But uh Ooh. No thanks. But um it's 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 hidden behind some um, information blocks, I should say. Dealing with them is very hard. Woo! Woo! Yeah, because he's fast. In this phase, he's fast. And it's it's crazy because there's two phases to this fight. They could not be less similar. Nope. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay. This is warm-up fight with this. I, I don't know why I jumped, but it worked. Okay, he does the delays. Bleed. Stoppies. Oh, thought we dodged it perfectly. Didn't. Woo! Oh, the range on these is brutal. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I don't know how that didn't hit me. I need a heal. <laughs> I'm being so foolish. <laughs> Only got Radagon down to half. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We got a ways to go with him. He just hammers us. That I'm dead, right? Yeah, <laughs> I was close. Well, don't, don't have to worry about that. Roll through it. I can't roll through it. Come on. The one we can punish. Punish, 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 punish. Oh, yes! Seven heals is a good chunk to take into Elden Beast. Ooh. Oh, we get a nice little relaxation as we get to watch the cutscene. Take a sip of victory water. These two phases of fights couldn't be any more different. Like, Radagon is this humanoid, tiny little dude. And then... <laughs> Elden Beast is gargantuan. Ooh. We got him. There's also an update to this fight, which makes it... more... easy? I mean, maybe easier? We'll see. You can use Torrent, which is awesome. I mean, at least it lets you get across the entire battlefield, which before was a huge problem. Look how cool he looks. Just like a giant magical nervous system. <laughs> and he calls in the stars to do his bidding. Ugh, Elden Beast. Final boss of the game. All we gotta do is beat this giant worm with an arm and a bunch of wings. That's it. <laughs> no big deal. Ugh. All right, we come in. We deal a bunch of damage for free at the beginning, and then we get behind them. Perfect. Force. Oh. That was a mistake to get on Torrent. Alright, heal. Stay up there, bud. Ooh. He's Elden Beasting. Okay, we're doing good damage at least. That's nice. Where's he at? Oh, he's so far away. Ooh. Okay, 
This is the ringy one. We gotta get out of the... Oh, and jump. And get out. Perfect. Okay. Made it out of the ring. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. Oh. Oh, my horse. My horse has been horsed. It's very hard to time it just because he's so big. Okay, perfect. Do some damage. Woo! And it's impossible to tell what's going on with Elden Beast. Okay, he doesn't do that much damage, which is nice. Ooh, thought I dodged it. Ooh. Nope. Oh, man, we almost had him. We were close that time, though. I need to try, um... I need to try the bleed on him, because I haven't tried any bleed on him yet. All right, Radagon, we come in, and we give him one, two, three, dodge. Oop, or just get hit. Dodgies. Oop. Ooh, he's getting a little grumpy right off the bat. Love to see it. <laughs> I mean, I don't really love to see it, but sometimes it's gotta happen. Woo! Punish that. Woo! Punish some more. Quick stops. Ow. Don't. Come on. Let me punish you. For your mistakes. Nice. Nice. And nice. Love to see it. Ooh. I always forget about the fact that he can do that if he wants to. Ooh. Ooh. No, thank you. A steal. Perfect. All right, he's going to use triple slam. One slam. Two slam. And it. And three slam. <laughs> Man, I didn't miss. I didn't dodge the third slam. And. Ooh, yes. Sweet. Thank you. Hit. 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 Dodge. Ooh, I dodged into it. No! We can punish, though. Oof. I'm being a little greedy. Woof! Woof! Oof! Got a heal? None of you! Oof! Greedy again. Heal? Ooh. No, thank you. No, thanks. Gotcha! Alright. Mm, put on some fire grease. And have a little crab claw. Ooh, I didn't eat the crab. <laughs> I came very close to eating the crab. Alright, let's go do some damage. Because I can pump out a ton of damage early. As long as I'm not a fool. Alright, get behind him. Great. Keep pumping damage. Okay, eat the crab. Crave. Craft has been consumed. Okay. I didn't have any souls, so it didn't really matter. Let's get ready to jump. Jumpies. Dodgies. Get on our horse. Yeah, so now you can have, um... Thorn. Oof. 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 And... Oof. Oof. If you've never played, um, Sekiro, this fight is so much like the dragon fight in Sekiro. Um, and seriously, if you haven't played Sekiro, live your life. It's such a great game. Woo! Such a great game. That game has got everything you could possibly want in a game. Nothing you! Nothing you! Nothing you! And nothing you! Woo! Woo! Here it comes! Wow, I just was out of range of that. That was so lucky. <sighs> Oof. Here comes another. Oof. And the final one. Oof. Okay, we dodged him. Love that. Oh, I don't have any stamina. Oh, okay, get out of here. That thing is nasty. We can get away from it, just get away from it. Oh, shoot. We gotta get behind him. Oh my gosh, I outran that so fleshly. Here comes the flame sword. No. Love it. Ooh, okay. We can do some damage. Nope. 
how did I not dodge that? Take a ton of damage here. But we'll be okay. As long as I can get up and just pop a little heal. Dodge! Dodge! I'm gonna pull the last one. Dodge! Okay. Pump out some damage. Ooh. Clutch. Turn on the bubble. We got the bubs. We got the bubs. We got three heal flasks. Okay. He's gonna come up. And this, is, this time he's gonna do three, I'm pretty sure. We get ready. We gotta do triple jump. One jump. Two jump. A three jump. And roll. Horse. Okay. Run. Run, 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 run. Run, horse. That's the one where we can pump out some damage. Oh, I got hit, but that's okay. We can take it to... Oof. All right, we gotta heal. Heal. How about some more damage on him? Okay. Ooh, we're so close. Ellen Beast, be kind to me, please. Be so kind to me, please. Okay, we dodge. Love it. Come on. Oh my god. We're so close. No. 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 Oh my gosh. Heal, 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 heal. Nope. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't be cocky. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Okay. We, if we run in, we might be able to get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, that is awesome. Oh, he was so hard with Radagon with just the starters, man. The starting weapons were terrible for that fight. Ooh. <laughs> that took a little bit of time. But man, that got the heart pumping. Ooh, had no heals left at the end. And now we're at the end. You have the choice after this point to either summon Ronnie or not. But since we did Ronnie's quest line, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to start a new world order with Ronnie. Love it. Ooh, that feels so good to get that done. Ugh. Hey, baby. How you doing, baby girl? <laughs> the battle is over, I see. Yeah, it took a little bit of time, girl. <laughs> Sorry, rat again. Had to happen. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul. Now cometh the age of the stars. Yes, indeed. A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. So cool, the transition. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. into fear, doubt, and loneliness as the path <laughs> stretches into My darkness. Duck face. Forgot about it. Hmm. Quack? <laughs> Moon quack? Well then, shall we? Yeah, girl. <laughs> She's got so many hands. Too many hands to deal with. My fair consort eternal. That's us. Oh, so yeah, she's transitioning over from the whole like 
golden order to the order of the stars and the moons and being the fates and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's the game. Ooh. Oh. <sighs> Let me tell you, this challenge with the whole only using the starting weapons and going through it with just that, it was brutal. Like, those twin swords are fine for early game and even some of the mid game, but late game, the bosses are just brutal. And the, the amount of like speed that they have, there's weapons in the game that have way better damage output. So it's like, especially with Radigan, he was so fast compared to us all the time that it felt like we were just constantly doing catch up with him. And then Elden Beast, obviously, it's like we can pump out good damage against him, but we just didn't have quite as much damage output as some of the other weapons. So, I mean, what a surprise, right? You start with the starting weapons. It's not going to be the best build in the game. But I have to say, doing that challenge and playing through the the whole game, basically, I had a few hiccups along the way that I just was like, eh, whatever. But uh, I never switched weapons. I never played with any other weapons. I tried to keep all of my summons to a very minimal level. And then beating all the hardest bosses or the last final bosses of the game with absolutely no assistance at all, that was awesome. And I've played this game, gosh, uh, 10 times now probably more than that um, all the way through and it just it gives you this game a whole new level of interest to play with these kind of challenges and I didn't I wasn't really expecting it when I first came out I thought oh man like this will be a funny little challenge to do and I'm sure that it'll have its fair share of twists and turns but like just the fact that you have no alternative right you hit a wall your alternative is, okay, I can level a little bit, but that's not going to do a ton of damage. Really, I just have to learn the skill sets. I can't use any distractions. I can't use anything that's going to draw their attention away from me. I just have to get better and better. It felt like a, um, a Sekiro playstyle. Um, and I know I mentioned Sekiro a bunch in this playthrough, but it really felt like kind of that style where it's like less about getting your build and leveling up and doing all this stuff and just more about learning the moves, learning what's coming at you, and just adapting to that. And what a fun playthrough style. Like, it's the opposite of what Elden Ring is, which is this kind of like grind along and get good and level up and all this stuff. And it turns it into this kind of just like rhythm mastery and skill set mastery. And that is such a fun and unique way to play this game. If you've ever tried any of these challenges, it's it's a blast. So. Oh, I'm glad that I took it on as a challenge. And obviously, the game itself, like... Woo! Chef's Kiss. Like, Elden Ring is one of the best games I've played in, like, modern times. And I first got introduced to, like, the Souls series basically at Bloodborne-ish stage. Um, so I've played basically all of them at this point. I've played Dark Souls... I haven't played Dark Souls 2, I might at some point, but if you know the Soulsborne lore and everything, there's a reason why people don't play Dark Souls 2. I won't get into it right now. Um, Dark Souls 3, uh, Sekiro, Bloodborne, this game now as well. Um, and it's just all their games are so fun and they're so unique and they're so different. Uh, and I really want to go back and play Bloodborne now because I feel like my playstyle in this game is like so Bloodborne. But I'll probably give it a little bit of time between FromSoft games just to give everyone a little palate cleanser too. And also like give myself a palate cleanser because good lord, these games are tough. But, oh, it was, this is a really, really, really fun game to play. Ugh. And there's, you know, there's the certain gripes with it of being like, there's certain grind parts of the game that if they simplified it, it would be a little bit easier. For example, like there's some of the uh, the sword upgrades, the stones that in order to get them, you've got to be so deep into the game, but also like that's kind of the point. Like you're not supposed to be super overpowered early. Um, and it was funny because at the end of this playthrough, uh, right before this episode, I went, was going around and I was just gathering up seeds and uh flask shards and stuff like that just so i can be maxed up for this fight and um 
it was hilarious. It's like going through everything and going back to all those old places where everything was so hard at one point. Like you go back into it and it's such a breeze just because you're so how much higher level, your weapons are so much better. So if you have access to those stones early game, which there's like a direct path in Kaled to get to really high level stones pretty early game. It's on top of one of the skulls, the giant skulls there. Um, it just kind of takes away a lot of the challenge of the game. And for me, I feel like the whole fun of the game is the challenge. Uh, maybe you disagree. Maybe you just want to kind of have some sort of power trip, which for that, I highly recommend you playing God of War, because God of War is such a power trip. You feel like a god the whole time through. You're just like beast mode all the time, and it's just really fun, and you feel powerful. Uh, so I think that there's certain games that can give you that feeling, and Sekiro and Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring are really good at giving you the feeling of overcoming the mountain hitting that pinnacle, getting over the top of it, and doing it basically on your own skill and scaling things how you want to scale it. If you don't like challenges, this game might not be for you. And that's totally fine, you know? It's totally fine for people to not play this game if they don't want to play it. Because it is a lot to ask people to bite off so much difficulty. Um, but yeah, if you, if you like a good challenge, and you enjoy the struggle, because let's be real, it's a struggle. Um, these games are so good, and they're so fun. And I know for a fact that the DLC is going to be a bear to beat, because I've heard that the final boss of that game is just insane. But we'll see how that goes, because if, if there are certain weapons in that game that I'm really curious about, I might try them out just for fun, because why not you know i don't really want to hamstring my experience just because i want to challenge but if it's feasible to get through it with these starting weapons i'm pretty tempted to do it we'll see how it goes but man for now it's just like i'm gonna miss the bosses that i've come to know so well like there's very few experiences in gaming that feel better than that first time that you beat radon and when you see Renala come up and the moon and getting transported to those second phases, it's so fun. These games are the reason why I, D and I play D&D and I DM, and they're the reason why I DM fights the way that I do. I fight, I do DM fights or they're always in stages, you know, phase one, phase two, phase three, all these things. Um, and, the, and I would say that FromSoft is probably the best studio at creating phased boss fights that are just fun and enjoyable. So, to Bandai and FromSoft, thank you. I love this game so much. No, we're not going to begin Journey 2. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the DLC. <laughs> uh, 500k souls. I got to divvy up some stuff, but for now, quack. I'm going to leave this one here. And next episode, I'll be seeing you guys in the DLC, probably getting my butt kicked left and right, but having a really fun time doing it. So thank you guys for coming along with me on this massive playthrough of Elden Ring. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace! We're getting up to mischief.